Teaching programming refers to a programming method in which the arm end effector is manually guided to make the robot complete the expected action. The programming process is divided into three phases, teaching, storing, and reproducing. In this section, we will complete a little demo that controls the arm to use the nomadic tool to put the wooden blocks into the box. Let's first look at the demo. First of all, we need the robotic arm and the extender box we used before. We also need a pneumatic box and a suction cup. The suction cup is connected to the air pipe of the pneumatic box. In addition to that, we also need the wood blocks. Besides, we need to prepare a small inclined platform. The file can be downloaded on our official website. You can print it yourself. Lastly, we need to prepare another small box. Bat wiring, as in the previous video, plug the data cable into the extender box. It should be noted that the air pump line should be connected to the yellow PWM interface on the top of the extender box. And now, the hardware connection is completed. After the connection is ready, let's open the software. Select the teaching interface. The area in the middle is for adding points. And on the right side is the control area for the arm and accessories. After starting, make sure we reset and unlock the robotic arm first. Now, let's start the programming for this small program. We first created a new program. For this program, we choose to use the chord mode. Let's add the initial point again, then let's look at its parameters. The first column is the way of movement, in which way it moves to the recorded position. We usually choose fast motion. The following parameters correspond to x, y, z and rx, ry, rz on this side. There are speed settings, pause, and the end tool, etc. For this demo, we add a suction cup to the arm. So go in the settings, and then we can set its tool, and we select the suction cup and click OK. After setting the tool, it will move the origin of the control coordinate of the arm to the center point of the front end face of the suction cup. So when we use RX, RY, RZ, it rotates around this point. After we add the first point, we start to get the cup close to the block. We control the robotic arm. For example, let's drop Z first. When it's almost there, we change to a smaller step. Then add Y. Minus X. Now we need to let the suction cup touch the wood block. We choose RX Plus to turn it slowly. When we turn it 35 degrees, it is almost okay. Let's get closer. We should observe it from different angles. So at this position, we add a point. After adding a point, we select a tool and choose a suction cup and change its state to on. And for this point, we choose MOVL, fast motion again. So in this position, we turn on the suction cup and let it start to suck the block. And then we adjust the step size to one. We slowly approach the surface of the block until the suction cup is slightly pressed against the block. And here 
here we add another position. Click add. After we add it, the arm can suck up this wooden block. Now turn on the air pump in the control area. By this time our suction cup has picked up the block. Then we slowly control the robotic arm to take out the block. First Z plus. Then Y minus. Then slowly bring it straight. We then add another point to the current position. And we move the robotic arm up the box. Click add to add the current position. Note that the suction cup is selected to be off to release the block. Then change all these movements to fast motion. Now let's turn off the suction cup. We have completed the preparation of the trajectory, but before it moves the blocks officially, let's first execute it step by step for verification and debugging purposes. We choose the first instruction, then click step. After the completion of the movement, it will automatically select the second command. Let's click step again. We can see that there is no problem and that the air pump is on. Step again and again. There's no problem with the series of commands. Next to run, we can set the number of repetitions. Let's set it to 6. Then reset to the initial position 0 pause. Select run. As we can see, the robotic arm can repeatedly execute the program completed by teaching. Before we close the software, remember to save our program. The default path of the program saving is in the data folder of our software file. That is all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.